reporting on the games you love by people who love to game. The MMO Reporter Network. And here we have the dwarf character creator. We're going to go ahead and make a male. The racial abilities are Stand Your Ground, Ability Scores, and Cast Iron Stomach. And we have the different character classes to look at. There's the Devoted Cleric and its abilities. These are standard across each of the different races. So if you are interested in seeing them all, you can also see them on our video of the Halfling character creator. There was the Trickster Rogue, and here is the Guardian Fighter with Block and Force Threat, Fighters Recovery, and Dungeoneering. And here we have the ability scores. The racial abilities you can choose from are Constitution and Strength, or Constitution and Wisdom. We're going to go ahead and choose Strength, since we're making a fighter. Now, here are the appearance presets. They all kind of look the same to me, as far as the general shape and temperament. I guess you could say. Uh, they are all kind of the same sort of... Well, it's a dwarf. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. I'm not sure why the icons are smaller in some of the windows for some reason, but that's the way that it uh, was in our client. Here for the head shape, there's a lot of choices here, but they all kind of look the same. Maybe subtly they change, They would turn off the beard so it's a lot easier to see. They all just kind of look... I don't know. They seem the same to me. You know, or just a different variation on obvious dwarf. Which I guess is probably a great thing considering you're making a dwarf. Oh yeah, scary one. Okay, for the hair, there's little side dreadlocks that kind of clip with your shoulders. Tied up dreadlocks. These are all the same across the different races as well if for males. And some of these can even be seen in the female character screens as well. Nice little ponytail there. There are not really anything exciting here, but it's definitely a lot of variety. They also have this weird, like, half comb over thing, which I'm guessing has to be something special. And of course, the wild super spiky hair, which I kind of like. Ah, uh, but we'll go ahead and choose something that is a bit uh, more standard. The coloring is pretty decent. Quite a few different choices there. For the eyes, you have almost all of these choices on all of the different races. For a tiefling, however, you only get the option of glow rather than natural blind or hurt. And of course, bushy eyebrows. And you're able to change the color of the eyebrows, which I like. I like that you're able to do that quite a bit. And of course, if you're a dwarf, you have to have a wonderful beard. A luxurious beard. An epic beard. And of course, the lovely mutton chops there. Um, <laughs> some of these are rather humorous, but we are a dwarf, so we'll go ahead and choose an epic beard. 
And for the appearance, these are obviously texturing for the face. Middle-aged, weathered, rough, and old. And here's where you choose your skin tone as well. Um, I, I like that they kind of have an ashy look too, instead of just going from light to dark complected. And we'll go ahead and go with something that's a little bit darker. Uh, no horns, obviously, for a dwarf. That's only available on the tiefling. And for that in particular, you only get two choices. It's one that goes straight back or one that kind of curls up towards the front. Not terribly exciting. For the tattoos, they're the same across male, female, and all races. So you're not going to see a whole lot of variation there. They all are rather interesting and certainly add a lot to the character. For scars, these are also the same across all of the races and sexes. So we'll just pick one and move right along. Face scaling, there's the head size, head width. And these sliders are all extremely versatile and there's tons of play between the different keys. Now head depth is really something interesting. I like the way that you're able to play back and forth with the thickness of it. There's a lot of play with the eyes and how to move them back and forth and create a character that looks truly unique. Now with this particular hairstyle, it seems like we're not getting much clipping with the brow width but in others, it is very obvious. Nose width, quite a bit of play there, and height as well. But of course, what is a dwarf without a wonderfully large nose? It adds personality and character, and it makes them lovely. And that's why you end up spending so much time on customizing the nose, because you want to have it just right. <laughs> Nostril height is certainly a slider that I would not expect to see in other character creators. But the customization is just perfect. Moving on to the mouth, which is a bit hidden by that epic beard, but you certainly get an idea of where it's placed. In jaw width, you saw that the, uh, the upper beard and the lower beard aren't exactly working together there, but it's trying very hard. For body shape, we have toned, heavy, and slim. So you get to see a little bit of profile and front view so you get a better idea. Now for body scaling, you have even more sliders to choose from here. There's the shoulder width, chest width. For the depth, you need to look at it from a side view there, so you can see the thickness of our dwarf.
And there we go. At waist depth, you'll certainly be able to see if he loves his ale quite a bit or just a little. The bulkiness is quite a bit of play there. Uh, hand thickness is obviously to match. It is important to note that your leg length is the only way to adjust your character's height, aside from neck length. For dwarves, obviously there's not a lot of room there, but you are able to do the best you can. <laughs> and there we have our completed dwarf.